Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to answer some of the common questions that you had regarding Chiaki for deck to work on the Steam Deck. This isn't going to be a setup guide. I already made one. I'm going to link it down below if you want to watch that one and get things started. That's a different video. So one of the main problems that people have had is not being able to find the app in the in the store on the Steam Deck on Steam OS. I don't know why this happens, but if you can't find it on the store, all you need to do is open a console, which was another question, by the way, some people didn't know how to do this. You just search for a console with a K and then paste the code that you see on your screen. I'm going to also put this code in the description down below so you can just copy and paste it, right? And you press enter. Because I've already got the app installed on my deck, uh, this is the options that we get, but otherwise you should be able to install it straight away and then the rest of the guide is just what you need to follow to get the um, get Chiaki for deck to work on your Steam Deck. Now the second question that people were asking is they can't get Chiaki for deck to launch in desktop mode. Uh, that's not a big problem. It's not a huge issue. Uh, you can actually set everything up in gaming mode. You just need to make sure you add Chiaki for Deck to your Steam library so you can launch it when you go back in gaming mode. The next thing that people had problems with is issues with the controller. Uh, people couldn't find a PlayStation uh, button, the touchpad, there's touchpad issues. So to solve all of this, and uh, this is what I've done in gaming mode and Chiaki for deck, all you need to do is go into controller settings for Chiaki for deck, go to community layouts. And if you can't see any layouts, just click on show all layouts. And then you're going to be presented with all these different controller layouts that will work with Chiaki for deck. What I use is the official one that the creator of the app also provides in the community layouts. So all you want to do is scroll all the way down to whatever you see Chiaki for deck plus uh, mic. In the description, it will say Street P's official Chucky for the layout with microphone button mapping. So that's the one I suggest you pick. Using this one, you can use the, the left touchpad on your Steam Deck. You can use it as the PlayStation button. You can use the touch screen as the touchpad. That's how I use mine. It, it, it works great. Um, and I suggest you use the same thing, but I mean, you can play around with different layouts and see what works best. Now, the next question that has come up quite a lot is being able to remote play outside of your home network. Now, this is something that I couldn't particularly make a video about because you need to open up some ports um, and also set a, a static IP for your PS5. This is different for every router, uh, depending on the brand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link to the guide um, for this also in the description down below. So, you know, if you wanna have it play around with it, that's where you're gonna find this stuff. You're gonna find the, the specific brand of your router, see how you need to proceed with opening up the ports and also setting an IP address for your PlayStation 5. Okay, if this video was helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and like the video. If you have any questions regarding this, um, just leave a comment on this video and uh, we'll go through it and, uh, you know, I'll try my best to answer it. But if I feel like there's repeated questions, um, maybe I'll make another video about this. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.